When your movie has opening credits that shows Chucky sperm, you know you're in a shit load of trouble. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Seed of Chucky. So Seed of Chucky is written and directed by Don Mancini who is the creator of Chucky and this is the first time where he actually gets to direct a Chucky film. The film stars Brad Dourif, Jennifer Tilly, Redman, and Billy Boyd. So Seed of Chucky is about when this orphan doll named Glenn discovers that his parents are Chucky and Tiffany and as we get to glorious Hollywood they're about to start production on a movie about the events of Chucky and Tiffany so when Glenn goes to Hollywood he brings his parents back to life after Chucky and Tiffany get revived they go once again on a murderous spree and when Glenn isn't too big on the whole killing thing Chucky really wants to make sure sure that Glenn becomes a murder. So before I review Seed of Chucky, Film Fan 0599 is going to be reviewing this film. So Film Fan, take it away. Hey, what's up you guys? Film Fan 0599 here again. And uh, thank you to my good buddy 22 Tiger Dude for having me on to talk about Seed of Chucky. Oh my God. So, what do I think about this movie? Now, listen. I've, uh, you know, when I talked about Bride, I, you know, I love the first movie. I think it's a great film. Second one is fine. Third one I have a little bit of fun with, but then Bride, they just kind of took, they wanted to take a different approach with the series and make it more like a dark comedy, and it just, it did not work, and then, you know, they leave you on a cliffhanger with the, you know, with Bride that, you know, they're having a son, and then this is what this is following up with, and I thought they went off the rails with Bride. They just downright jumped the shark with Seed, because they just go full-on crazy with this, and it's honestly, I think, one of the worst horror films I have ever witnessed in my life. Literally, this movie's atrocious. This is this is beyond awful. Seriously, it is a borderline cartoon. Ser seriously, like, I get it. A lot of people think a lot of people think this franchise is really silly. All right, fine. You know, that's great. I really don't think the whole series is really that cheesy. Besides, you know, really, it's mostly with the kind of with the sequels and stuff. The first movie. I don't think it's really that cheesy. I think it's actually really terrifying, the first movie. But they just take it, like, they just go full off the rails with this one. Let's just, let me talk about what I didn't like. Because I have no positives with this movie. There is nothing that I liked about this film. Nothing at all. So let's just jump straight into the negatives. Because I do have a lot of negatives with the film. First being the acting is atrocious. The acting is beyond awful in this movie. Everyone is terrible. You know, Brad Durf, who I love as this character, I think he's really great as, you know, the character of Chucky, but in this one, he's just borderline annoying. I could not stand Chucky in this one. At least in Bride, you know, he annoyed me in Bride, but at least there were some moments in Bride where I did enjoy him and still had a bit of fun with him. Here, there's nothing. There's nothing I liked about him in this movie. And Brad Durf is just terrible. And that sucks, because like I said, I really like him as this character, and I really like this character in general. And just to see him go down this route of just being borderline ridiculous and annoying, it's just like, why? And then Jennifer Tilly as, you know, Tiffany, 
She's awful as well. She's just as bad as she was in Bride. Seriously, she is really awful, and she even plays herself in the movie. Like, Jared Fertilli plays herself in the film. Because they tried to... Oh, they tried to do the stupid thing where it's like, oh, we're gonna film an actual Chucky movie. You know what I mean? Like, we're gonna film an actual Chucky film within the Chucky movie. Like, and... Like, they tried breaking the fourth wall and stuff, and it's... Oh, it's terrible. Like, it just does not work at all. And they introduce... They make Chucky have a son. Because, like I said, at the end of Bride, Chucky has a son. And we see that in this one... I thought giving Chucky a bride was bad. Giving him a son was even worse. Oh my god. Glenn is one of the absolute worst characters I honestly have ever seen. This character is borderline annoying. I could care less about him. He He's just a random added figure to this movie. And he's just there just to be the sake of being a son. That's all he's there for. And... He is an awful addition. He's an awful character. And nobody likes him, and for good reason, because this character is terrible. No one asked for this. Nobody. And just the fact that they gave him a son. Really? And whoever is the actor that plays him did an awful job. His acting was beyond terrible. The comedy is awful. They have Chucky masturbating at one point. Yeah, this is how low this franchise is going. This is... How low we're going with this. The, the humor is just awful. Nothing is funny in this movie. Like I said, at least there were some funny moments. There were some moments that I did laugh at in Bride. But there were absolutely no moments during C that I laughed once. The humor is just absolutely god-awful. And like I said before, the movie just gets borderline ridiculous. Like, they just go off the rails. And not the best way possible. They do it in such an awful, awful, awful way. Like, I could not believe how ridiculous this movie got. Like, I was baffled of how just stupid and ridiculous this film got. Like I said, they tried breaking the fourth wall. They tried to be so meta with this movie it, that it's terrible. Why did we need this? Why was this necessary? Why Why did we need to go with this with this movie? Like, uh, it's just so painful to watch. I don't care about the relationship between Chucky and Tiffany or even with his son. I don't care at all. It's terrible. It's really not all that well done, honestly. And it's just really bad. And I could care less. The writing's terrible. It, it, the screenplay is absolutely awful. Like, it, the dialogue with all these characters, wow, it, it seems like they were, like it was written on toilet paper, their dialogue. Because, man, is it bad. The directing is even terrible with this movie, too. Like, it's not even that well shot. The editing's not even that great. The cinematography isn't that even that great, either. Like, seriously, it's so bleak. And the movie just does not end. It moves at a snail's pace, and it won't end. It, it, it just... The pacing is so terrible. Like, it just does not end. It's just like, we want to torture you more and more within each scene. And then when it's over, you're like, thank God, because this movie is awful. No wonder why they waited nine years to make another Chucky movie. Because this is how poorly... Because the movie did poorly um, box office-wise. And it did poorly critical-wise. Everyone hated this. I've not met one person that actually, like, legitimately likes this movie. Like, I see, see some people say, oh, it's a guilty pleasure, but I haven't seen someone that legitimately actually think it's, thinks it's a good movie. This movie is just awful. In every way. It's by far the worst in this franchise, and it's just one of the worst horror films just ever conceived. Uh, obviously. Do I, obviously, this movie's an F. Uh, without question, an F, F, F. <laughs> It's just so baffling to watch. I, I cannot believe... It's by far the worst in this series. You know, I, I don't even want to talk about this movie anymore because that's how much it infuriates me. It's such it just an atrocious piece of film. So, if you have seen Seed of Chucky, what did you think of it? Leave it in the comment section below, and I'm going to turn it back to 22 Tiger Dude. Oh, oh boy, sir. Just, 
Oh my god. Thank you so much, Film Fan, for reviewing Seed of Chucky. Seed of Chucky is the worst in the franchise. And it's one of the worst films I've ever seen. I thought Child's Play 3 would have been maybe the lowest point of this franchise. I thought Bride of Chucky was going to be the lowest point in this franchise. Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, we officially hit the lowest, the lowest, the lowest point in this entire franchise. And that is none other than Seed of Chucky. Before I do just release my my rant, review, whatever on this film, I will give credit where credit is due. Brad Dorif, he is still really great with this role. Brad Dorif, as I've been saying with these reviews, and I'm sorry I keep repeating myself, but he commits to this role of Chucky. He is still really great as far as voice work goes for Chucky. Despite how I may feel about Chucky in this freaking film, Brad Dourif still does really great voice work. It still felt like he wanted to be in this film. And despite how atrocious this film is, it is amazing that he's still able to bring that charisma like with the other Chucky films. And that's all I can give Seed of Chucky. I found something that's good in this film at least because it was kind of hard, but that, that's the only thing I can give Seed of Chucky credit. The rest of this movie, what? fuck is this? Seed of Chucky is honestly an utter disgrace to this franchise. The script is atrocious. From the dialogue, to the characters, to where the storyline goes, it's atrocious. Awful does not even describe this film. No, awful is being it's too generous of a word. This is a monstrosity. It feels like nothing but pure shit after shit after shit is being thrown on the screen. Once again, this takes more of the comedy route, yet somehow how they handle the comedy route is worse than how Bride of Chucky handled it. And that's saying something, because I hated Bride of Chucky with a burning passion, but yet, this is even worse than that. I can't believe I'm even saying that, but it's somehow, somehow worse than Bride of Chucky. Chucky in this film honestly annoyed the hell out of me, and this is Chucky at his worst. His absolute worst in this entire franchise. I honestly wanted Chucky killed at this point. That's how much I hated him. He was obnoxious, he was annoying. It's like he really lost sense of who he was and it was honestly embarrassing to watch this movie because wow, Chucky has reached his lowest point. Not only film-wise, but just the character. The character is at his lowest here and I couldn't stand him. And of course, I wasn't a fan of Tiffany and Briar Chucky. And I somehow found her even more obnoxious here. Chucky is at his worst here. Tiffany is at her worst here. And then of course, we get introduced to Glenn, the son of Chucky and Tiffany. Oh my god. This character is... I don't even know how to describe this character. He is one of the worst characters I've ever seen. I hated Glenn. I seriously couldn't stand him. Every time he popped up on screen, I wanted him to go away. I wanted a big old lightning bolt to just strike the fuck out of this doll and just have him die. I know that sounds really bad, 
But that's how much I hated him. Well, I hate all three of these characters. Chucky, Tiffany, and him. It's not just him. I hated all three of these fucking characters. And Billy Boyd did not do a good job voicing him. I thought he was horrible with the voice work. And same thing goes for Jennifer Tilly as Tiffany. Brad Dorf is the only really good voice actor in this film. And not only do you get Jennifer Tilly as the dull version, but you get a Jennifer Tilly and the live action world because we're following Hollywood all of a sudden in this franchise. We're following Hollywood. So we're also following Jennifer Tilly and Red Man. I hated every moment when the film would cut to them. Their characters were awful. The dialogue between these characters are so bad. We're supposed to believe there's some kind of chemistry between these two, and there isn't. There's no chemistry between the dolls or even um, Jeff Tilly and Redman. And all the stuff surrounding Hollywood, I could not give a shit about whatsoever. And just like Bride of Chucky, this film is self-aware about Hollywood and how over the top it is. Yeah, it feels so forced. There's nothing wrong with being self-aware, but they forced it so much that it honestly got really irritating. I get it. You're self-aware, but you're doing a really horrible job at it. And the direction by Don Ancini, wow. It feels so lifeless. There's no life. And this is the creator of Chucky. So you would think the guy that created Chucky, directing this film, would add something, but feels like there's no life. Even though apparently Don Mancini was very passionate with see the Chucky, which good for him, I'm glad he is, no disrespect to the man there, but it just felt like no life was added here. And the cinematography is at its worst in the franchise. This is where the franchise looks the cheapest. Oh, and this is actually the last theatrical Chucky movie. Yet, how come this is a theatrical movie, yet it feels like a straight-to-DVD movie, and Curse of Chucky and Cult of Chucky, even though those are straight-to-DVD movies, I'm already just gonna tell you straight off the bat, those two movies look more theatrical than this movie. A movie that came to theaters. This movie actually came to theaters and I actually question why because of how cheap looking the cinematography is in this film. The color saturation just feels so out of place throughout this entire film. There's not a single shot that wowed me. There's not a single shot that impressed me or a single shot that I can admire and say wow that was beautiful. No. There was nothing artistic cinematography wise when it goes to this film and that's a shame because I am someone that values cinematography and how it is presented but there really is nothing here. There's even the shoehorn storyline with Chucky wanting to show Glenn that being a murderer is good and I could not care about that at all. Like Chucky is bonding with the son. We're supposed to believe that right? Yeah, I do not give a shit. Like what I've been saying for the review in general, I don't give a shit what's happening. While the movie starts off really, really dumb, it gets dumber and dumber and dumber and dumber as it goes on. And then we get to the third act, which is honestly one of the worst third acts I've ever seen. It seriously made me sad to see the franchise just fall so low, that third act. Wow. Oh, and because this is a comedy too, the comedy here falls flat. In fact, I don't recall a single time I actually laughed at this monstrosity. I'm not even joking when I say this. There's a scene where you literally see Chucky masturbate. That's actually in this film. You actually see Chucky masturbate. Because, yeah, I totally need to see a talking doll getting horny by looking at some magazines and just start jerking off. And not only is this film just so forced with its comedy, with its characters, with its execution, with its direction, even the music is really awful here, but the kills are 
probably the worst kills I've seen in this franchise. Just grotesque for the sake of being grotesque. There was nothing creative or inspired about this film. Honestly, a lot of things in this film just felt so lazy. And not only is the entire movie unbearable, but that ending of this film too. I have no words. I have no words. That ending. And this movie was so bad, we didn't even get another Chucky movie for nine years. It's also so bad that none of the other Chucky movies after this got to release in theaters. So yeah, thank you so much, Seed of Chucky. Thank you so much for destroying this franchise. And I was bored to tears too. Not only was I pissed off, but I was bored to tears watching Seed of Chucky. I was annoyed. I was depressed. I was infuriated. I was feeling so many emotions watching this film. Seed of Chucky is going to get a half a star out of four. Yeah, not even a one. This is a full on half a star out of four. It's one of the dumbest movies I've ever seen. And the fact that this exists really, really makes me sad. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Seed of Chucky. And I wanna thank FilmFan0599 so much for reviewing Seed of Chucky with me. Um, yeah. Wow, this film. And be sure to stick around, you guys, as FilmFan0599 and I will be reviewing Curse of Chucky together. This is 20 to Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.